Hello and welcome back. Someone's dreams are getting dashed and it's about to go down. My name's Austin. I was there um, emceeing the very first part of it, you know. Yes, first, you were. First time being on the desk tonight. I can't say how excited I am. Right. Well, I mean, we got a riveting match coming up. So we have PNW and IUPUI playing against each other. But something that not a lot of people know is Sweetness from the IUPUI roster actually played here at the Battle for Indiana last year with PNW with uh, with Sean. Uh, so essentially, we have two former teammates going up against each other right now, and I'm kind of excited to see. And they're both named Sean. So we're we're looking at like this is like the this is the Seanicles yeah, is Sean what we're gonna call it. <laughs> How, you got to think that that just adds so much more to the match. You know, you're exactly. you're playing people that you've played with before, and now here you are. This is the first elimination match we've had at all. Time. Right. This is our first one. Someone is going to have to say goodbye. And, you know, you don't want to lose anyone this early, but if you find yourself in this situation, what do you think is like going through your mind as a player? Like, you, you've, you came through the first round, you lost, and then now here you are. Like, what does that do to the mental? It's, I mean, it's rough. You know, I, I guarantee you there's some jitters. There's probably a lot of anxiety on the line. But I know that neither of these teams want to go home, and they're both going to fight for it. Well, their chases for the Rocket League Cup tonight could end here. Who's going home, Purdue Northwest or IUPUI? Let's figure out. So right off the tip off, we got Purdue Northwest having control of the ball inside the IUPUI field. Uh, and it looks like Sean's going to continue to hit it back with Fusion Breach, taking a double tap. Unfortunately, Kato Mac did not get the receiving pass. And we are still waiting to see what our first goal is. We've got a flip reset right there, and IUPUI is knocking the ball out of the territory into the field of PNW. If you want me to be honest, I think this PNW team is a dark horse to win the entire thing. Has a good shot there by oh. IUPUI. It's off the crossbar. Zephyr rebound. They can't capitalize. Own oh, ah. sweetness is there to save the ball to stop the first goal from happening. Right now, we're looking at a little bit of a tension between two teams as they both fight for the first goal. And Fusion Bleach almost taking it that time. Kato Mac is going to stop them from pushing the ball. It does not quite go through as the 50 is lost. And now Sean is taking aerial control to take the ball off the wall and towards the court. That's a good look there. IPUI stops it in its tracks. And this is like a heavyweight fight, you know? These fighters are feeling each other out here. They're waiting for that one chance where they see a moment and they can capitalize. And Sean might see it here. Takes up the top right. Can't finish. And it's looking like it's going to tread back to what a demo. Purdue Northwest side. Can IPUI get a little bit of something going here? Sweet. Gets a shot on. Saved by Sean. And now we're back in this feeling out process, and it's only a matter of time before something happens and something big. The ball is sticking to the wall right now. Kato Mac tries to go for a pinch. Unfortunately, it does not quite go the way he wanted. The ball hits the ceiling, breaching down to the floor, and everyone is kind of faking going for it right now. They're gonna. It looks like PNW's got control of the ball. Fusion Bleach has oh a my. perfect oh chance my. on the, the back, back with Sean, Sean oh unfortunately missing it. It bounces off the backboard and we are walking into what looks to be another stalemate. One might say this match might be a slobber knocker. Devin, <laughs> Devin used that term earlier. It's my turn. I, I coined the term after the great Jim Ross. And that's what it, this is what this is looking like. This entire series is looking like it's going to be a slobber knocker after slobber knocker. I mean, these two teams are going out of one another. <laughs> oh, good shot there by Purdue Northwest. Great save there by Hecto Chip. Keeping the pressure on is Purdue Northwest. It's going to start trending back towards their own end. They have to, go to fall back and play defense. Good clear there. Sean meets it in the air. Going back into IUPUI's end. Sweet meets it in the air. Looking for a little something out of the corner. He gets it in the corner. Up in the ceiling. Goes up and gets it. Looking for a double tap. Can't oh, get it. just Great barely save missing there it. By the former Purdue Northwest teammate. Sweet. And now IUPUI trending back towards Purdue Northwest end. It's an absolute madhouse. The ball has not reached a goal. We are how many minutes in? Two, three minutes, and we have not had any points. There hasn't been a single breakthrough one way or another. And, and here's the first goal for IUPUI by, what is that? Are you saying that? Why so? Or yo so Leo? Is that it? <laughs> I, I don't speak Spanish, and I don't want to offend any uh, Spanish-speaking people. <laughs> is, is that Spanish? I, I do believe it is. Soy is Spanish, so. Well, I failed I, I Spanish, so that. you know what? I, I, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I took German, so I am not the one to be speaking. I got on Japanese this issue. and sign language, but I couldn't do Spanish. <laughs> however, I do think you are the one to speak on this issue. However, Purdue Northwest gave Ball State a run for their money there, and now they find themselves down one nothing here against this IUPUI team, who we haven't seen play in a minute. They were in our opening match, and now here they are in the Ooh, league. Ooh, that's a shot on goal! Oh my goodness! What a snipe by Sean! Ties it back up, 1-1. One, one. I was talking, I didn't even see it. That's those high IQ eyes. Those, Look at that. Look those, at that steal. Those highly trained eyes. He saw it from the other end of the field. Absolutely picking the pocket of the I, IUPUI defense. Nodding it back up, 1-1. One, one. Just under two minutes left. Ooh, what a demo. That's actually really good in the early game right now to get control of the ball to put it into the side of the field that you want. But the ball is going to fly. Sean is going to catch it in the air, double tapping it back away and catching them. But the ball does manage to make it into their territory. And Sweetness is going to try to take the ball up. Hecto chip. Oh, that's a good look. It. And it looks like Kato Mack is going to be running it off the wall. And he's going to take it back to the side of IUPUI. All the players are on the field. They're in position. And these two teams, they're getting opportunities. The other team's defense is just, this is lockdown defense from both teams. <laughs> what Each a team has a goal, yeah, but both defenses go right there. The Fusion Bleach gets it in with the assist by Kato Mack. As I'm talking about the defenses, he squeaks one by right there. And Do you see that? Head. That was like, that was like, a mixture of a pinch and like a double tap off the wall there, just barely bouncing it, letting it float just slowly in spot, giving his teammate the opportunity to take it and throw it into the goal. Fairly, Perfect gameplay. Fairly even kickoff there. Oh my goodness, no, another he does one. It. No, oh, he doesn't. Oh my goodness, oh. what a save by Hecto Chip. That was for sure going in, but he stopped it. Purdue Northwest now has to fall back and play defense. Yo soy Leo, almost With gets the it shot. in. Can't quite get it. These two defenses are playing lights out right now. IPUI has 30 seconds left to get a goal. Oh, and the tension is high. IUPUI needs this if they want to take the first match against PNW. And all PNW has to do is stall time or get another goal. If they get another goal, then it doesn't look like IUPUI will be able to make a comeback. But the ball is on PNW's side of the field. And right now, it looks like PNW is taking back control of the ball. 12 seconds left on the clock, and Sweetness is coming in, taking the ball, and trying to go for his opportunity to stop the onslaught of PNW. But PNW is not letting it happen. The ball is going to bounce, oh. and it is up in the air. It's but not it's not over. It's not over until the clock, until the ball hits the ground. That was a good opportunity. They can't capitalize off the corner. Hecto Chip keeps it alive. Sweet goes up. Hecto Chip once again keeping it alive. They have to get down there and keep it up in the air. And it's going to touch the ground. They can't do that. As hard as they tried, they only lost by one, though. Like I said, this Purdue Northwest team is very, very good. And they gave Ball State a run for their money. And I mean, it was a good first match. That was a really good first. I mean, I, it was close. It was I, close. And this is the type of stuff you expect from the Battle for Indiana. I mean, these right? teams, ultimate bragging rights on that. That's what's on the line here, really. I mean, just to have that. We are the best esports program right. in the state of Indiana. And I think Purdue Northwest is making a pretty good statement here as to why they should be playing Ball State in the finals. Saying that Ball State makes the finals. Right. Seeing what's just transpired. I mean, Purdue versus IU, that, 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 I mean, that was back and forth. I was enjoying the heck out of that match. It was amazing. We get into game two here. Another good look there off the kickoff Hecto Chip. The stone of this defense getting another save. Sweet goes up for it. This is a good shot for Purdue Northwest. Off the ceiling, and they're oh. tipping it, but it does not quite go in. There was a nice try with the shot on the goal with Kato Mack taking control of the ball, holding it, but it looks like the rain is almost over with Fusion taking a shot. It does just slightly manage to hit the left, bouncing off the back, and now we are looking at the ball in the middle. If Purdue Northwest is able to get these shots on target, they would have scored way more in that first match. Oh, absolutely. And especially here. It's just slightly right, slightly left by millimeters, and they just can't quite convert on these attacking opportunities as IPY gets a good look here. They might not be able to get back for it wide right, however. That still Ooh. sets up a very good opportunity for a rebound. Sweet goes up, tries to capitalize, can't, and they're going to fall back quick here. They only had one person back, Hecto Chip. Now, Yo Soy lo uh, Leo, I thought I said Yo Soy Loco. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, that name. This game is loco. This series this game, is going to be loco. It is very loco.
Coco. Yes, absolutely. And it looks like Sean is going to be taking control of the ball. The ball is now out of his grasp. But Fusion Bleach coming around to take the rebound. Bouncing it off the wall. Oh my tipping goodness. It and almost knocking it in. But it looks like oh. that's where Bucky... Oh, shoot. Ooh. That is a great shot there by Fusion what Bleach. What an amazing top, play. Right? Kato Mac taking it and knocking it in there. Pardon my French, but oh my gosh, that was perfect. I like they to executed that in the best way they possibly could. I like to say, oh my golly gosh, that's my go -to. Golly gosh, uh, what, what was it, slobber knocker. Yeah. Slobber knocker. I, another slobber knocker here. That's what I was thinking, banger after banger after banger. And that's what we're getting so far, especially throughout the battle for Indiana. One nothing is the lead for Purdue Northwest. Just under three and a half minutes left. Good luck there oh. by IPY. And IPY once again finds the slightest hole in this Purdue Northwest defense and capitalizes. Echo chip all over the field. Good defense. Gets the goal there, I mean. We're not at 1-1 one -one here. There's still plenty of time left to be played. Right. And the match is still at large. We have one and one right now with three minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock. Fusion Bleach is going to be taking the ball and he's going to try to move it out of his position to get off the goal. Sean with the air control, the air dribbling it down. And it looks like Kato Mag is going to be taking the ball now. We're watching as Sean is getting ready to get into position to stop the ball, get it out of their territory. Yoi Soi Lee is going to take the ball and pass it to his teammate. Sweetness is trying to dribble it and is stuck in this right pocket but now it's finally managing to make it over to the other side where Sean is now going to try to make a pass onto his teammate, but that is denied by Yoi Soi Lee as the ball continues to stay and remain in play. Uh, you've got to look at the mountain attack. That's a great shot there. They can't get the touch on it. I saw exactly what they were going for, and they couldn't convert. Once again, just slightly off the mark is this Purdue Northwest offense, and now they have another shot here. Leo goes up, gets it, Sean. Hits it at midfield, sends it to the corner. Sean goes for another hit, can't quite get it. They have to fall back on defense now. Fusion Bleach meets it at midfield, going off the top. Gets the Ooh. hit, wins the 50-50. Loses that 50-50. But Sean, right there, Kato Mac. I thought Kato Mac was going to commit he to it. He almost sniped that. He almost sniped that, but unfortunately, he was not in the right position. The play was not correct, and the ball is now in IUPUI's control as they take it to the other side of the field. Kato Mack being the only person keeping that off the goal and now passing it to his teammate, Sean, who is now going to try to make it over there. Sweetness, unfortunately, does not get the control as he makes it over to the slight right, and he does. Hecto Chip coming around to demo Kato Mack, and now the ball is dancing in front of the goal! And Fusion Bleach getting another score for BMW with one minute and 43 seconds left on the clock. This Purdue Northwest team, they find ways to score. They have might they might not have been the most accurate all series so far, but they find these ways to score and convert on these opportunities. As good kickoff there for IPY, Kato Mac meets it off the wall. Sean looking to get a tap, gets a little tap, not quite what he wanted. IPY looking to, uh, I'm sorry, I lost all train of thought. This game is just so crazy, it's making me lose my mind. I'm going loco. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing my mind too, man. And you know what? We have been here all day now, and it, it, I mean, I, I guarantee you these players feel tired. I mean, I, I would probably be, what, three energy drinks down if I want to stay in this game, oh, if I want to stay I cognitive. I don't, I don't know what I would have to do in order to stay cognitive, especially at this high of a level as you're seeing right here. Just a minute left. Purdue Northwest has a single goal lead. Good save there by Leo. The tackle oh! squeezes it in the bottom right. It's Sean. They take a two goal lead here. IEPUI needs something fast and they need it desperate oh, in order no. to stay in this game. You always saw Leo, he was trying to go for what looked to be the save, but he actually passed it straight to Sean, who seems to be the sniper of taking these balls from the enemy team and taking it to the goal. John looking for another one here, gets met, loses the 50-50, loses the challenge at midfield. IEPY looking to tack off of it. Midfield, Sweet goes up for it, off the wall, doesn't get another tap. Leo goes up for it. Pretty neutral, 50-50. Hector Chip Ooh. gets it in the bottom right. Great mm. save there by Fusion Bleach. And now this Purdue Northwest defense is flexing their muscle. I, I, if I were IUP right now, I'd be trying really hard to get a goal because I, not only are if they lose this match, then they are going to be going into what would be PNW's first two points. And after that, that last match could be what sends them home. 
The tension is high, though. There's 13 seconds left on the clock. IUPUI has to make something work, and they do have the ball on the right side of the field, but it doesn't look like they're managing to make anything connect, and PNW has taken it over to the other side where there is one second left, and the ball does touch the ground, leading to PNW taking another victory. One went away from advancing in the battle for Indiana, and one loss away is IEPUI from going home and having their dreams dashed of hoisting that oh. Rocket League Cup at the end of the night. PNW looking really, really strong. We saw it in the first game Absolutely. against uh, Ball State. Now they're looking really strong. This IEPUI team needs to take a step back, take a breath, regroup and give it readjust it give it the best that they got because like you said they're probably tired they're probably wore out they've been here just as long as us and right. he here they are if they lose they go home the pressure is high the tension is high you're tired your morale might not be the best how do you power through here I honestly, I don't know. I, I, I haven't made it this far in a tournament before. <laughs> These players have it over me already. <laughs> well, whatever it is, they're going to have to dig down deep, and that's the stuff champions are made out of. Right. So will IUPUI dig deep and claw back into the series, or will they get sent home? That is up for them and Purdue Northwest to decide here in game three. And it looks like right now the ball is flying back and forth with both teams just hitting it like a teeter-totter, tilting the scale over and over as the ball continues. What? Kato Mac with an amazing shot. Watch this. So Hecto tries to hit it off the wall with Sean and Kato Mac knocking the ball together, and they could not get the save as it was a perfect snipe to get the goal in for PNW with PNW taking its first point. The tip comes off, and IUPUI is now getting the ball, but Fusion Bleach is not going to let that happen. He's bouncing off the back. He almost got himself set up for a double tap, but it looks like that did not deliver, and Sweetness has a shot on the goal. Can he make it happen? No, he can't, as Fusion Bleach comes in to stop it. They are sending the ball up into the air. Sean's moving it, and he's moving it past the two players, but he does not quite make it work as Sweetness and Yoisoi Leo stop him in his tracks and keep the ball in their territory. IUPUI does not want to go home. I don't think any team wants to go home. This is make or break. This is prime time. You're on stream, baby. You got to make something happen. You're down by one with four minutes left. You're going to have to dig way down deep, almost on target there. What's Purdue Northwest? Kato Mac looking to capitalize. IPUI pushed up a little bit. They, could they make contact in the middle of the field? What could be an attacking opportunity? Might not come to fruition as Leo goes up. Great save by Kato Mac. Sean looking to mount another attack. He's got it. Eyes on He's the air goal. dribbling it. Fusion Bleach right there. Sweet makes a great stop. Sends it way back in Purdue Northwest. Sin. They're going to have to regroup and find something else to get past this IPUI defense. They've done it once. Can they do it again? Who knows? Who knows? IUPUI needs this point, though. They are now entering three minutes and 22 seconds left with PNW holding the lead and holding what could be their chance to continue playing. Hecto Chip tries to go for the ball, but is denied. And Yoisoi Leo comes around to take the ball, but Sean takes it from him, and the ball is being aggressively fought for in the middle. The battle is not over yet, though, as Kato Mac comes in, sweeps in, takes the ball, almost getting a shot on the goal, and the ball does manage to make it back to the center. Bonkers save there by Leo. He's bouncing around midfield. Sweet goes up for it. Fusion Bleach gets to it first. Wins 50-50. Doesn't really amount to anything. Can't amount to an attack here. Fusion Bleach gets the tap, furthering their attack into the IEPUI defense. Sean looking to make a little magic happen from there. Can't quite get it done. Leo sends it back into the lion's end. What was your lion? What was the name of your lion? Uh, what is it? Leo? We're, uh, it starts with a, uh, yeah, yeah, Leo, 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 the lion, yeah, pride, yeah, PNW, let's go! Oh my goodness, IUPUI gets their goal that they desperately needed with the assist by Leo, your oh. own mascot, absolutely great shot there, they had two there just to ensure that they were getting it in, that's how good this Purdue Northwest defense is. Just under two and a half minutes left. Anyone's game now. Well, IUPUI really needed that, and they really needed to get a point in the goal. And now they have the opportunity to take the game back from PNW and try to push themselves to push further. Kato Mac stopping that ball. The ball is, ooh, it's flying back and forth. 
Sean is managing to knock it all the way over. Fusion Bleed sending it over to the other side of the field. Sean tries to come in and scoop the ball, and it looks like Hectochip is going to try to take it, but Fusion Bleach has perfect control over the ball, knocking it off the ceiling with... Oh, go! <laughs> Kato Mag with the ceiling shot! How beautiful is that? I like to say, when I'm watching my Ball State team play, it's like poetry in motion. How does it get any better than that? The pass off the wall by Fusion Bleach. Kato Mac right over the middle. It's almost like a Peyton Manning to Marvin Harrison throw. It's just perfect, perfect Peyton pass. Manning. Right, and now it looks like Kato Mac is going to demo Hecto, walking into this first part of the skirmish. And Fusion Bleach is now taking control of the ball, sending it over. Kato Mac did not quite reach what the pass he was trying to set up for him. I don't think that made sense, but we're rolling with it. <laughs> the ball is being traded, and Kato Mac is going to try to keep it towards the goal, keep it close, but the ceiling control is perfect and detrimental. The ball gets passed to Sean, who tries to make a play off of it, but the ball is now going to kind of hover towards the middle area. It's not leaving that spot. They are continuing to trade these blows. Oh, wait. Oh, oh okay, great. we're good, we're good. <laughs> great stop there. My big issue is I just finished Better Call Saul, so every time I see Hecto, I want to say Hector. Hector, like, like, you, you were talking about that earlier. It was you who uh, just recently watched that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh rule oh, one, rule one. They, the have, back. they have to. They, they have to. They are honoring the They're rule done. one as they should. They are out. BY. It's a 2v2 now. Leo and Fusion Bleach locked into the rule one, and that might go in. Great. Oh, Sweet is stopping Sweet. it. Kato Mac not letting down, not letting go. That's our first rule one of the tournament. And it's really bad for IUPUI considering the fact that they have 30 seconds left on the clock. And Kato Mac is rushing the ball into the goal, scoring, now taking PNW to three points with IUPUI being behind by two at 27 seconds, which is not the spot you want to be in. And that's a thing of beauty there in the back of that net. Honoring a rule one, it's seldom done. You have to. You have to. Well, you know, you play your ranked matches now, and since it's free to play, there's a lot of new players. And I feel like the the code and honor. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Great shot! <Ooh! laughs> what a save! What a save by Kano Mac! That was for sure to go in, and he managed to stop it. With 14 seconds left, they take a shot on the goal and knock another one with a fusion bleach taking another score. PNW up four points with IUPUI at one. And it looks like that's going to be it. I, I mean, what? They have 11 seconds to I, knock three shots on that goal. I think that third one was a morale hit, and that last one was a dagger. It's like the one-two blow. You know, I was holding out hope that IEPY might make this miraculous comeback. You know, they're down two, 30-ish seconds left. P, uh, Purdue Northwest said, Ball nah, on the nah. ground. Ball on the ground for Purdue Northwest. <laughs> Moves on, IEPUI's chase for the cup ends here. I, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with how IEPUI showed up today. You know, I was excited to see all the new teams that uh, tried to qualify, you know. Right. I think Manchester did qualify, you know, Trine, Indiana Tech, all these new schools. And I do believe IEPUI might have been one of the newer schools for Rocket League. I think we played against them in Overwatch a couple, three years ago. Overwatch. But... <laughs> Man, that was back probably 2021 COVID era when right. when I was doing this online. I have my uh, I have my gripes with Overwatch as a game right now. So that that, that game brings uh brings some negative emotions to my eyes. <laughs> well, I think IEPY is certainly feeling some negative emotions now, but yeah. not Purdue Northwest. Purdue, Nor Purdue Northwest soaring high. You know, they got the heart of a lion. They do, they got, and they got the pride to show it. But more importantly, off of that, we now know who the better Sean is. Sean v. Sean action. <laughs> it was an absolute slobber knocker. Slobber knocker. I'm All sweating, right. man. I'm sweating. Oh, I, I can see. There's some. There's definitely some perspiration going on in here right now. There is, and that's how good this game was. I mean... What more can you ask? High-level Rocket League Friday right. night. 
Well, right. the stakes are high. The stakes okay, are high. The anxiety right. is high. The pressure is high. It's it's really it's it's hard to adapt to that environment. That's what makes these pro players the ability to adapt, to conquer, to come back, to lose, and then to try to bring it back. And it's it's not it's <laughs> it's not hard. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not. It's extremely hard to play at that type of level. But you know what? PNW showed up. They definitely are not done, and they want to continue moving. It is sad to say goodbye to IUPUI, especially with one of our players who we still root for playing on the enemy team. Well, oh, our sure. enemy team. You root for them as long as you aren't playing them. Right. Well, that was the match for now. Up next, I'm not quite sure what we're looking at, but don't go anywhere because this next match is going to be just as big as every match that we have played today. And oh. up next is Purdue in Purdue Fort Wayne. A little Purdue action coming your way. Purdue versus Purdue Fort Wayne. Don't go anywhere.